Hello, welcome to the part 23 of this playlist. We are looking at professional certification solution architect. If you clear this certification, you will get huge amount of respect in your organization. You will be considered for ACE projects. Your client interviews would become a cakewalk or just a formality. By the way, you have more contents uploaded, more questions. If you become a cloud ninja, you can gain access to those. If you have not hit the subscribe button, please take this opportunity. It will help you with cloud certifications. Tons and tons of testimonies on various videos and playlists of people who have passed the certification. Let us look at this question. Remember professional certifications. One drawback is that you have really long questions and long options. Very boring. You have an application like Facebook. And do you like when Facebook goes down? You never like, right? So it has to be highly available. The key is latency sensitive. That means really high performance. High performance means DynamoDB. Even Uber applications use it. So it is a NoSQL database, single digit millisecond means very high performance. So wherever I have DynamoDB that I will search. I have one more here. So wherever I see options where I, ha I have Elastic Cache used instead of DynamoDB. This is wrong. And this one is also wrong because it is making use of Elastic Cache cluster. Now you might say hey elastic cache is ultimately cache and it would be faster. DynamoDB is a global service because you got to make this global because you have it in multiple countries. Elastic cache would work globally. Now out of A and C which one would be correct? So what A is telling is put all the contents on S3 and then plug CloudFront, Route 53 and DynamoDB and leverage SQS to capture user preferences. So this is correct. The problem with C is it is telling you to use a copy API to copy recently access content to multiple regions. You know, whenever we try to do that, your, you will not be able to meet this requirement, latency sensitive requirement. You will not be able to meet it. That seems to be the only difference between A and C. So C is wrong. This is my final answer. So let us look at the next question. So in this new question, you want to track the call activity. It's a call center. So calls duration is two through three minutes approximately and the calls are traced either it, these are active or terminated okay and there is another application which needs to know every minute they want a list of active calls so we are clear we are only interested in the active calls i am repeating it we are clear we are only interested in the active calls and usually there are few calls per second but during peaks there are thousand calls per second the system operates 24 by 7 and any downtime should be avoided and periodic periodically historical data are archived to files and cost saving is a priority you see this yellow box this is ivr okay this blue box is the external application external x now every minute this guy will send the data to this application every minute that means you need very very high performance when we talk about high performance would we use dynamo db or would we use rds boss if it is performance no doubt no doubt no doubt you will have to use DynamoDB, single digit millisecond performance at scale. It is a NoSQL database. Always apply this thumb rule if you are looking for performance, 
lowest latency go for dynamo db so what will we do we will we know b is wrong we know c is wrong because they are using rds rds is not a high performance database first we established why we need high performance second since we need high performance we know dynamo db is the choice compared to rds rds is not for high performance now a and d are almost the same except one is using the state attribute for indexing other is using is active did you see the word state in the question no we will strike this out did you see the word active yes we saw the word active here we saw the word active here so is active attribute is what we would be searching for this is my answer see one problem with this exam is they will give you all sort of uh, information see this question had nothing to do with historical this one you see this historical data nothing to do with this and there was no, none of the options we are talking about much about cost saving so these two are distractions our question was only linked with active calls so in the real exam you will get same or similar questions you will have to be very focused on see usually how i appear for the exams are is that i go through the options first i get a sense of okay what is the problem that they are trying to solve if i see three problems in the question and if i see that the options are only solving one problem i would not worry about other problems so let us look at this next question see you have seen milab.com or some crowdfunding websites what happens they have uh, some uh, ad advertisement sent and suddenly people start donating money so a lot of people so what is when they donate money what happens when they donate money rights happen they are writing what type of rights database rights happen now what is the requirement here if the rights are happening so what is the problem they are saying hey you know you should put a solution so that none of the rights should be dropped when the request is put to a database none of the rights should be dropped how it gets dropped see if you have a website you have a database why will it get dropped many times it happens there is a jam you know, the database gets jammed and it cannot process at the same speed the rights cannot process at the same speed and some records may not process that is how so what will happen if some records don't process what if in those records somebody someone like sharukh khan made a donation of made a donation of like say 1 million dollar would you want to lose that transaction you would not right so that's why they are saying we don't want to lose any transaction see when you are running a donation campaign even 10 dollar 20 dollar matters okay now what to do see whenever you have such scenarios you should always think about a thumb rule whenever you have such scenarios where rights are going and due to database not processing it gets lost put something between the front end that is your website no this is your website put something between the front end this is your front end f and put something in the back end between these you have to put something what is that something always remember sqs sqs is the man f will send the message even if backend is busy it will be there stored in sqs if backend crashes and restarts no worry no worry man sqs still has that transaction so sharukh khan's 1 million dollar donation will not get lost now this is a service sqs very useful it is serverless also see it is put between producer and consumer what is the producer in our case this guy producer is the front end sharukh khan sharukh khan is using the front end and he is donating money what is the back end back end this consumer what is the consumer consumer is the back end database so in between sqs is there 
it will hold the messages it will hold the transactions it also has encryption features uh, by the way i was surprised you know the actor akshay kumar in india he sponsors a lot of insurance for the stunt men and stunt women so anything bad happens they are insured you know insurance companies they hesitate to sponsor stunt people stunt pants who do those uh, body doubles or action scenes as a body double for the mainstream actors so they do not get insured so now what has happened is akshay kumar has been sponsoring them for uh, for like more than a decade now so i learned this through one of the brute videos so since we are talking about donation i just recollected that so this one is my answer sqsb it will say that you capture the rights and draining the queue to write to the database this is one now other options if you see a is telling that you know rds with provision iops it can do a peek through right throughput you know what it is telling is hey you know what maybe the database that is your backend you know this stuff maybe this stuff is a problem if i give you a strong database more compute you will not face this problem of course i can still face this right there is no limit to it we should give us we should not give a solution like hey you know what you replace this with this project this product now uh, we are able to handle 100 customers now with this product we can handle 1000 boss what if 10000 comes what if 100k comes what if 1 million comes you should put a solution that works for 10000 100k 1 million 100 million everything so now elastic cache they are saying that you store elastic cache to store the rights okay and uh, then rights are committed to see elastic cache is a cache only useful only useful i repeat only useful for reads no use with rights here we are talking about rights so this is wrong d is saying that you boss you use dynamo db with provision write throughput to anticipate peak write throughput boss that still does not guarantee if the peak is high then dynamodb can still handle it probably it can handle it more but can it handle it all that is still a question why to go and test the peak capacity of dynamodb why should we do that when we have an option of using sqs that would be better so this would be my final answer so friends if you have not yet subscribed please do so it will help you believe me so many people are benefiting out of it and don't waste your time on other channels i was going through one channel called tech with lucy okay tech with lucy she is only explaining some uh, very very high level stuff not going to help you with certification core certification try to absorb knowledge the process like how much does it cost for certification hey uh, how should be your temperament to set clear certi all are crap stuff man study study understand the concepts you will clear the exam so this brings us to the end of part 23 i will post many more such parts stay tuned stay focused